Hello Cancers, how are you doing? Let's see what's going on in your vibration at this time. I hope you're very well. I hope everyone is very happy at this time and just in that energy of love and manifesting Cancers. All right, so we're going to take a deep look and see what the messages are for you. All right, before we start, of course, if you are interested in a personal reading, everything is below, okay, where we could look at your journey and look at um, your love energy, okay? So let's take a look and see what's going on. Of course, uh, subscribe if you have not, all right? And also check out my new channel if you're open, uh, of course, to manifesting, right, my beautiful Cancers. You're powerful. You can manifest anything you want. Okay, so if you're interested in manifesting money, check out my money magnet video. Interested in manifesting a soulmate? I got that too. Okay, so you can check that out. And of course, thank you for everybody that has subscribed and supported the energy. What is this? What is this? What is this? We have door to value. Mm, some of you are really focusing on success at this time, right? Focusing on balancing out your success. Some of you may be overworking too, but focusing on balancing out my success. How can I open up the door um, to moving into a more successful direction at this time, right? I feel like that's the journey. Definitely stepping into the month of also um, April and May as well. It's like I'm really just focusing on me, right? I'm pushing all barriers behind or anything that has distracted me or anything that has been holding me back. Some of you have noticed, like I have spent a lot of emotional time focusing on something and it has been probably blocking out my success. All right. So it's very important at this time for you to focus on what am I giving a lot to and what am I receiving? Am I receiving as much as I'm giving? Am I investing and actually seeing gains here, whether it's a relationship a friendship or love, right? So door to value, right? How do I value my time? How do I value my priority is going to be very big for you, Cancer, at this time. Okay. And there could be also a lot of spending happening where I'm just giving, right? It doesn't only have to be money, but I'm giving a lot of energy to certain things. And I'm trying to close that out because again, um, you know, one of my good friends told me one day, what did he say? It was a Virgo. He said, uh, uh, depression is expensive. Okay, or um, being down on yourself is expensive or not focusing on yourself could be very expensive, meaning, you know, you could, you know, waste a lot of time by not focusing on um, you, right? Not focusing on yourself, right? So there could be an energy where someone here could be attempting to use you up, right? Or they could be asking for a lot of things or just again, um, someone here is not giving enough and it's just not balanced. There's a lack of balance in something here. It could be a work situation as well for some of you. But again, because I see these, um, you know, and we could look at it both ways here where we see these gates opening up for a lot of you, you're going or moving into a very abundant energy where I'm moving into a place that has more value. I'm moving to a location that has more value. I'm moving towards people that have more value for relationships and more value for respect in terms of of uh, things like that okay so there's a lot of movement at this time cancer okay there's a lot of movement at this time okay it's like i'm repositioning myself i have to oh god so we have broken heart here okay so yeah so this, this could be um an emotional situation where some of you are connecting with someone here that is again you know very focused on external things are not really focused on you at this time this person could be really focused on money or focusing on their success which is fine but i feel like that could be that person's main focus all right and it's throwing you off here because again it's like i'm emotionally in what are you doing what's going on here okay but again um there's just this energy of you know my healing is important right now or my emotions are really involved in something here and it's possibly has been holding me back some of you this could also be like a work situation right where it's like um i'm trying to focus on work but there's something about love that's going on with me that's sort of shaking me up a little bit and i need to focus on that whoever it is that you're focusing on or thinking about or connecting with this person could be more so like someone here that's trying to balance themselves out so it's important for you to balance yourself out as well within the energy okay yeah it's, it's like there's an emotional situation that's constantly just interrupting your vibration or has interrupted your vibration some of you it's like i've noticed it so i'm adjusting it okay so it's that awareness that's important important some of you could be connecting with a libra all right i'm connecting with a libra or an aries or a sag all right or a sag i said that scorpio 
energy, okay? Or Gemini energy as well. All right, so let's get a little bit more for my beautiful Cancers. What's going on? What's going on with Cancers at this time? Pisces as well. I'm all in my head. Someone here is thinking a lot, right? I'm all in my head about this. Every time I look around, I see you. Every time I try to focus on other things, I think about you here. So I feel like it's very important for that transition to happen, right? For me to get out of my head and get into my heart space because my heart space is, is asking for attention. And what I mean by getting into your heart space is giving your heart and your emotions attention and paying attention to what you're feeling and paying attention to what your heart is, um, you know, translating to your mind. Right. And for a lot of you, it's I need to focus on my inner child right now. OK, so again, try not to be distracted in terms of what you see here. Let's get a little bit more for this connection or what's going on. Like I'm overthinking about this. Thank you. Divinely guided. A lot of you have met someone. Thank you. I met someone here in order to learn something about myself. OK. I'm learning how to value my standards and value my um my time okay so again there could be an energy of someone here possibly abandoning you or stepping away from you um you know it's like they're reclaiming their freedom all right there's an energy of i stepped away from you here or this person could be at a distance but i stepped away from you here and i feel like one of the main lessons here for you cancer is how do i get my freedom from this situation or how do i free myself from this situation spirit is saying um this is something again that was divinely guided this is something that had to happen in order for you to learn the energy or the art of detachment here okay because there's this energy of I, I tr I'm trying to fix something. I'm trying to adjust something or maybe I'm waiting for the potential or wait, maybe I'm waiting for things to just, you know, fall into place here is what I'm getting. Yeah, we also have control, allowing certain things to control you, right? So there could be an energy of someone here playing mind games or, or manipulating the energy or again, just stepping away and going into the, you know, this energy of here i'm focusing on myself and i'm no longer focusing on you some of you could have people around you that are very selfish or again when it's time to um communicate they use a control tactic right there's an energy of control here okay and some of you have been feeling it you've been um noticing this energy very clearly okay this could also be you cancer where it's like i'm trying to control this situation and that's why i'm constantly in my head this is the outcome that I want. And because I want this outcome, um, I'm stuck. Or because I want this outcome, I'm ignoring my heart and my emotions in terms of I'm not feeling okay here and just allowing things to be. But I don't feel like cancers are doing that anymore. All right. I feel like cancers are freeing themselves from this energy and actually releasing this control. Someone here had you tied up, right? Not, not physically or anything like that, but someone here had you tied up in your head where they weren't giving you the answers that you needed and this person decided to just step away, okay? But again, a lot of you are just moving into this energy where I'm redirecting my focus, I'm redirecting my, uh, my thoughts here, okay? All of the love that my beautiful cancers have to give, I'm giving it right back to myself. I have to, right? Because it's like the sirens are going off, your heart, right? It's like this flashing red light. Like your heart's in trouble, your heart's in trouble. Don't forget me. Don't forget me. Forget about everything else, right? Forget about those that are not wanting to be here during your times of sadness and times of, you know, wanting to connect with someone, right? Yeah. All right. So let's get a little bit more for this connection. Spirit is saying, take your time. Take your time with your healing. You don't have to rush, okay? Someone here could be very angry very angry with the outcome of this situation or I'm very angry with the way things have ended or I'm very angry or I'll get very angry when you don't do what I want or for some of you there could be an energy of someone still upset with you or they'll get upset and they'll tend to manipulate here yeah someone here is worried about someone being upset with them like did I say something wrong so be very careful that you're not being hard on yourself here someone here could be very hard on themselves Maybe you decided to set some boundaries and then someone here became very angry. And, ex and you know, ex instead of saying it or speaking about it, this person decided to either ghost or go quiet energy here. Okay? But there's a strong energy of having support from friends or... 
someone here is asking advice about this relationship. They know that their actions are possibly making you upset, making you doubt them or doubt their, you know, doubt their, their trust or your trust. Some of you here definitely need to start journaling. There's an energy of I need to start journaling here, okay? For some of you, something is ending slowly. Spirit is saying, I'm moving this out of your life because it's mandatory. There's no need to be angry about it, okay? There's something here that you need to take slow. And there's something here where you need to, again, go back into the place of I need to focus on cancer. Maybe something was moving very fast. Someone here tried to control the, the momentum of a relationship. All right. It says here, I'm trying to remain hopeful, but I feel you slipping away. Well, if they're slipping away, then they're slipping away. Right. If you stay in the energy of I don't want this person to slip away. Now you're in control mode. OK, they're slipping away for a reason. Maybe they need to slip away into healing. Maybe they need to slip away in into growth, right? It is not our um, role to try to uh, control outcomes, right? We control how we react and we control um, in terms of how we feel. But, you know, people slip away. People pass away. All right. So I feel like there's a lot of lessons here in terms of taking things day by day, right? Not allowing it to affect family, not allowing it to affect your work, not affect your health here. All right. For some of you, it's like, um, you know, Maybe I did something. There's just this energy of someone here feeling like they did something here. Or someone here is still angry that someone here decided to release themselves here. Okay? It's like I'm angry that you decided to no longer pursue this relationship with me. Or I'm angry the fact that, you know, you're disconnected. Someone here disconnected from you or no longer speaking to you. Maybe they're angry or you're angry, but someone here is angry here. And maybe you used to support this person a lot. You were very supportive in this person's life. But now this person could be treating you as a stranger. Or this person's not really opening up to you. And someone here is saying, I know you're angry with me. Okay. Someone also stated, I want to pursue my freedom right now. I want to disconnect. I need to be free. Okay. So be very careful that you're not the one that's being controlled here by someone trying to friend zone you. By someone here that is, you know, slowly acting like they're in your life, but slowly knowing that they just want to be friends. Okay, there is that energy as well. All right, because I'm seeing this big question of, you know, does this, you know, should I invest my time here? Okay, so let's take a look over here and, of course, see what we could expect moving forward in this connection and uh, what spirit has for us in terms of advice here for my beautiful cancers. Okay, someone here is they're not okay with someone here walking away. That could be your person. It's like they come back and they want some sort of support from you and you're just like, mm, no, no, I'm not able to give that support anymore. I'm not angry. I just don't have any more to give. Someone is saying I don't have any more to give here. Okay, let's get a little bit more. Some of you are walking away from controlling relationships, whether it's a relationship where someone controls the relationship by becoming silent and distant. You're like, yeah, I'm not doing that anymore. That's odd. I'm not doing that anymore. That's strange. All right. Let's get this person's feelings here. And of course, outcome. Outcome, outcome, outcome. Okay. But also bottom of the deck, we have awakening here. A spiritual activation, a realization. Yeah, cancers are, are shifting. There's a huge shift here. All right. We'll take a look and see what's going on in this relationship. We'll pull some more um, tarot to get some more messages, of course. I love you. Have a beautiful one. If this resonated, of course, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And if you're interested in a personal reading, everything is below. I love you. Have a good one. Against myself because I don't want to lose or I don't want to, you know, not have this person as a friend anymore. This person was such a great person and I don't want to lose them, right? Maybe they just need a little support and I'm okay with being supportive to this person. 